ever wonder why sometimes you get an injury and it's only on one side and maybe you continue to get injuries on only the one side or you're not feeling well and it's only one part of your body. Reverend Ellie Behrman here and you're joining us for the Let's Get Metaphysical show where you'll discover the invisible forces driving your life in each moment. Let's continue. Well, your body has wisdom beyond what you could even imagine. It takes really good care of you. And it's sending you messages when it's introducing injuries or illnesses into your world. Now, I was talking to you last time about meridians and the fact that each meridian has an emotional theme. Well, each point on that meridian has a very specific aspect of the emotional theme. So if it's something like fear, which would be the meridian, your kidney meridian runs through your knee. It's why a lot of people have knee problems or ankle problems because they're fearing making a change, going in a new direction. Well, so long as you know what aspect's going on, you know where you can get help working with somebody who knows how to work with you energetically. But the meridians do more than give you just that emotional theme. They also connect to specific organ systems. So you get a picture of what's going on health-wise because every organ system has its own theme also. And in fact, you have chakras. You've heard of chakras. You've probably heard the O7 chakras. Well, from the one up here down to your root chakra, yeah, it's seven. But guess what? The chakras go way up into the energy field and they go down below you. And there are actually 20 chakras. And each chakra has an emotional theme connected to it. Each chakra connects to specific organ systems. But that's not all. Every one of your organs is connecting to telling you, hey, I need some attention in this area of life. Something's amiss and you're not paying attention. So I got to have this problem in my organ or in my gland so that I can get your attention and get you to find out what's actually causing the issues. Your muscles, each of your muscles connect to very specific organ systems. It's not an accident if you keep hurting the same muscle, especially on the side. Talking about body sides. If something's happening on the left side of your body, it's triggered from your right brain. Your right brain is your spiritual, emotional part. So anything that's happening on the left side of your body has a spiritual underlying theme. Anything that's going on the right side of your body, the left brain is controlling the right side of your body. And that's just really purely physical. That's your logic part of your brain, figuring things out. There are no accidents. Everything that happens in your life that impacts you physically or emotionally or spiritually, pay attention to where it's happening and work with an energy worker, someone like me who knows how to interpret for you what's going on and even more important than interpreting the big picture, showing you, well, this is the big picture of your life and here's the priority. Because remember from last week, your body has priorities. And when you address it, when you clear a specific priority, you're getting rid of a whole mess of things. Remember that the neurons, which are going on in your brain, that fire together, they wire together. 
So when you have some kind of issue going on, it's not just that one little block. You could have hundreds, you could have a thousand neurons connected into that one incident because the universe has been knocking at you, trying to get you to wake up. And because you haven't tuned in yet to what's going on with yourself emotionally out of your awareness, it keeps throwing stuff at you. It continues to wire into the same emotional basis. Why do I say emotional? Your lifetime from the moment that you're born, and I actually had one person who came into the lifetime with blocks already there. But I've had a number of people where it goes back to being in utero. All through your lifetime, everything that happens makes a relationship block in your body, mind, spirit, system everything. So when you're with somebody who knows how to clear what's coming up, not because you tell them that's what you need to clear, but because your body has the wisdom and you follow the wisdom of the body, then things clear and you don't have to worry about them reoccurring. And I can tell you more about that maybe next time, about some of the other factors that will allow incidents to reoccur. Right now, I just really wanted it to get clear to you that everything, your brain, your muscles, your glands, your organs, your chakras, your meridians, everything is connected to a theme, a spiritual and emotional, a physical theme and you created it with the assistance from the universe prompting you to develop those particular, what should we call them, challenges. By the way, talking about challenges, remember I have told you over and over again, struggle is optional. How you choose to interpret an event in your life, whether it's going to be painful or physical, or something to, oh, I didn't realize that was there. I know how to take care of that. And then you clear it. You might notice, oh, it looks like a Band-Aid. It's not actually a Band-Aid. But what it's doing is it's waking up my body to say, hey, we got something going on here, and we need to take care of it, and we're going to do that for you. Because I'm not going to count on figuring it out myself. Yeah, in my work, I can help to move people along there. But you know what? This does it instantly. See, the other day, I added some apple cider vinegar to my bone broth. I like to do that. However, I was emptying my bottle <laughs> of vinegar, not paying attention to how much was going in, and I drank it down it. Oh, my word, I majorly burned myself. So I grabbed one of these. It's actually a patch. There's no medicine. There's nothing in there that's going into my body, on my body. It's just saying, yo, body, we'll wake up. Let's create these certain cells and heal it. So as soon as I put it on, the pain immediately diminished and it's healing, and it's 99% healed now. So I don't have to hurt. I didn't have to take medicine. I didn't have to go to a doctor. I didn't have to pray about it. It just got better because my body is doing its thing, and your body is always doing its thing. So even if you find that you keep hurting something, or you get sick, or you get sick easily, is the universe talking to you. And when you repeatedly get the same thing, it's the universe yelling at you. So wake up. I am Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm real glad that you joined us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical show. Remember to join 
our Facebook group as questions. Get the extras I put in there because I do that every week. Tell me where you're listening from and what do you want to know more about? And on that subject, be sure that you check the show notes so you can find out how to join the A-L-I-T-L-C club. Well, what is that? A-L-I, Allie's me, T-L-C, the very first business I ever took online was a learning circle. Why? Because for me, everything that exists, every person, every bug, every tree, every plant, were all a viable living force. Even the single cells in your body have incredible wisdom. In fact, they're breaking up 90% of who you actually are. But getting back to that. So I envision the whole world of each being, of each energy being a dot in a circle. And it's an infinitely large circle. So the Learning Circle was my first company. And yes, I know people call TLC Tender Loving Care. If you're not living your life, being tender loving care for you first and then for everyone. And by everyone, I don't just mean people. I don't just mean pets. I mean everything in the world. You can see when you know how to look. You can see the trees responding to you. You can hear them. You can feel the energy. And it's pretty cool when you allow yourself to do that. So one way to get awakened to what's going on in your body. And I know I've been telling you this for a while. I'm recommending Rhonda Burns, The Greatest Secret. Stop being stuck. Stop thinking you are your mind and you are your body. Everything that I've told you the last couple of weeks is to make it very clear to you you're not your mind and you're not your body and that little voice going on in your head. It's not you. It never has been. It never will be. And the greatest secret will assist you in reaching that happy point. And you can pick it up as your free audio book when you take advantage of the gift from Audible. 30 days to go in. Download the audio book of your choice. And look around. You can watch or listen to any episode of our show on the show site. And do remember to enjoy. That's capital I-N. Capital J-O-Y. Every moment. Because nothing in your world. Not one single thing happens outside of you. You can't experience anything until it comes within your body where it gets turned from electrical, electromagnetic energy into a language you can experience. I look forward to being here with you next time.